My research is looking at the reasons why uh, upper class Nigerian parents are sending their children, primary and secondary school children, to uh, private boarding schools in the US and the UK. I'm interested in knowing how they are doing, going about doing this, especially, but why are they are doing this. So therefore, I'm looking to understand if what is influencing their decisions. Um, so far, what is coming across is the idea uh, that place and, and space, place being the geographical do, uh, domain that they are sending their children to, and space in, uh, in the context in which I'm using it, meaning the particular school that they are actually choosing to send their children to. These two very distinct uh, uh, factors come together to create and to, to, to generate a socially profitable capital for these children eventually. And this can then transmit into a social and economic advantageous position in the future for these children. Um, I'm also interested in the role of the gatekeepers. Uh, gatekeepers by this I mean the embassies, the, uh, the agents and, and indeed the schools. What is your role in terms of how they actually sell this place and how they sell the school and to find out what it is they are actually selling and why they think parents are consuming this place and these types of schools. Um, I'm also um, um, interested in um, finding out how perhaps place and school uh, is used to actually reproduce class but also to, find, to, to see how it's actually used to distinguish class, to distinguish not only between classes, but within classes. But also what is coming across so far is the idea that um, these parents are not just consuming education for the sake of it. Uh, because you know, like when I talk to other people, the first thing people say is that surely they are consuming it just for, because uh, it must be for quality. Yes, quality might be uh, a reason, but I don't think it's the primary reason. I think that is a secondary reason. The primary reason is um, a need to distinguish uh, 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 themselves from other class faction um, and to, to, to actually acquire the Western habitus. And by this, I mean the Western uh, traits and Western characteristics. And, and again, what is interesting is that uh, interesting so far, what I'm finding is that not all Western habitus are important or valuable uh, in the creation of this transna uh, transnational elite idea or identity. But specific uh, white whiteness, uh, for example, middle class whiteness is what is consumed, what is preferred. And, and certainly the white uh, mid uh, working class whiteness is not perceived as um, valuable and certainly they frown, you know, these parents that I've interviewed frown against it. So they are actually picking and, 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 and finding valuable whiteness uh, that they combine with Africanness and together come and create this idea of uh, um, elite, a transnational elite for their children. I'm not saying that these parents are transnational elite in themselves, but I'm saying my research is saying how they go about creating a transnational elite. And to, in order to create this transnational elite, I think you have to combine Africanness with Westernness. But also research literature with regards to Africans and the consumption of Western uh, education always portrayed the idea that uh, the Western education is detrimental to, to Africans. That is the literature that, especially when you look at colonization li literature, and there's this push um, for an African education. Um, I'm hoping this research will show whether there is anything as an Africa, whether there is a desire for an African ed education. Uh, but so far my research is not supporting the idea that people want or Africans want African education. And to some extent they don't even know what an African education would look like. But what is definitely coming out is that they recognize that um, there is a place for Western education, uh, uh, but not in its entirety, not in its totality. Uh, Western education will be taken and blend with an African education or some Africanness, and together make a better, uh, but certainly create an identity that will command prestige in Africa, command uh, privilege, and, and put them at a better position.